What's up, guys? Welcome back to my another episode of the Vinci Resolve 15. I have to say, the Vinci Resolve is my favorite. If you did not know that, and in my opinion, it is the most powerful video editing software that you can find at the moment. Well, that is my opinion. You don't believe me? Go ahead. But those who are new here, if you have not downloaded DaVinci Resolve 15, here's the website that you can go to. Okay, you just have to go all the way down here to the bottom. And you could download the free version or you could buy the, the full version. For me, if you like it, you should definitely get the full version. For now, all the things that I'm showing you right now, is you can get it in your free version so let's get straight to it all right that's that now uh today i want to talk about where you can get all this cool effect for your music video so majority of time uh people use this effect for you could say edm or trap or dubstep those these effects are great for many many users and and guess what you can find them all in the vision we saw so this is how you do it. All right. First, you have uh, your video clip. Um, paste it in your board. You did all your editing. Now you decide you want to do the effect. So you go down to the color tab, which is right here. See, this is so convenient. Everything is here for you. All right. On your color tab, uh, let me hide this for now. Since you go out, S at two layers. So you want you a note more about this later on so right now I'm just gonna talk about the effect you could use so that way it can uh, either inspire you or, or tempt you you know so anyway you got your view clip you out as you have two layer so I'm gonna click on the second layer where I'm gonna apply the effect so you had you did all this coloring you editing now this the second uh, part of the process you go to your color tab and you do your grading or you do your effect so right here is where I can do my effect. So I go down to the open FX tab right here and you know this is a library. So today like I said I'm gonna tell you all my favorite effects that I you can use for your music video. Well these are my favorite effects and I sh I try to explain briefly each one of them. That way you could get an idea. So my first one will be zoom blur. Alright. Majority of the video you know there's um people like to zoom into things. And you need this little blur to make it so convincing that <clears throat> while you're zooming in, it, it have this effect um, that make it very convincing. So if I increase the strength, you notice it have this zoom effect, like warping. Well, I'm pretty sure most of you are looking for that, uh, and you try to find it. And you can even have a position where you warp it at. You notice. Okay, the strength of the walk. So the good thing about this effect, you can also animate it, which is right here. The button right here, you click on it and you go by frame and you animate it. You walk and then you come back. You know, usually people use this for transition. So is that what you use it for? Good. All right, that's one of my favorite. Let's move on. Second, um, there is lens blur, but this is not a free version. So lens blur is also one of my favorite. Uh, this is the pay version. So what it does, you see most people use it for blog. Let me give you an example. It just blur. It's a really nice bright blur, and then you come back, right? It's really nice looking. Uh, let me turn this down so you can see a bigger picture. All right, then blur. It's not free, but uh, but you see most most people do video intro. You know they blur it up and then come out okay that's that's it there is a free one which is um this type of blur okay but it's not as beautiful as lem blur there's many other blur okay uh, but for my main most of the time most i mostly use this zoom blur to transition and then some intro okay let's move on uh color compressor is also one of my favorite where you can uh change the color you see this to fantasize I don't know like the lighting or, or, or just to make it unique or just make it interesting you know so you could even uh, do black and white 
Alright, let's move on. And this This is also another way of tricking your you know just color grading it but another way of tricking your your video to 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 your taste alright that's that's another uh, color space transform and let's see dehade uh, some of them some of these things are not free but uh, let me keep going what else is also good um lens oh lens flare is good lens reflection is good but this one is not a full version okay this is not a full version so you see all this uh lens that yeah, don't worry we have um we have lightweight that is a free version okay lightweight so what do we do with lightweight right well actually you could do transitional lightweight you see a lot of video from Corella. If you never heard of this group, you should go definitely check it out. Corella did a lot of transition with Lightweight. Um, let me let me show you really quick. Let's say right here. You could move around and you can keep the store. Okay, let's say that. So you can do a lot of transition with the um, with lightweight. So after you got all this set up, like what I just did right here, and then you go to brightness. You can, like I said, you can see these. That means you can animate it by just clicking onto it. So how you transition? Majority of the time, just bright it up and then go to your next clip. Bright it up and then next clip. So if this is what you're looking for, this is good for transition. Corella use it a lot. If you don't know this, go search one of her video. Uh, she's very famous for for her music, and most of her music video you see this as a transition. All right, let's move on. So you have lightweight here. It's really good for your video. And let's see which one. No, no, no. I sharpen it. These are not free, but you can sharpen in here. And there's another place where you can sharpen, which is here. You can sharpen your video here. But anyway, these are not free. If I just drag it and click over here, you know this. You're gonna have to get the the full version. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, the next one I love is mirror. This effect very useful. I'm pretty sure you see it in most music video. Mirror, uh, you can change the position to this. You could, you could find find the part that you love and, and mirror it, and you could even change the angle. Cool, huh? Not only that, you could also change the, the style of it. You could change it into, you know, and you could also change it into, yeah, cool, huh? You could definitely trip out your reviewer in your music video or just make your video more interesting by doing or even add a uh, color to your video to make it, uh, you know, to find the right mood for, for the mirror. So yeah, this is definitely useful and yes, it's included in the free version. So let's move on. My One of my favorite, favorite This you see this a lot on um, on video. Uh, you want to do like a, a double cast or a double shadow, or you want to go with the beat. You know what I mean? And you just want to make your video interesting. You definitely want to use PM Blur. Um, so let me set it up and just show you really quick. XY position. Okay, so the straight right here. Make sure you have at least like 200. You know this? With the strength. You, you, like I said, you can animate this. You can bump, 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 you know, and then uh, you can put it right here. And then you can, uh, the distance is very important. So, you can cast a shadow like this. You know this? Boom, 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 boom. Right? <clears throat> you can also make it even stronger and then make it everything. You can do a transition with this. 
and, and not like you dreaming or something all right and you can um like to keep it like around one here that way i can do a double double cast okay and um not only that i could make it like tripping like for example like this it's like the soul just came out but yeah this is really uh useful for for many many ways i'm pretty sure you, you can come up with many creative ways of using this okay this is one of my favorite favorite things to go to after effect and uh yep it's free and it's included in the free version so you definitely should check it out let me see what else i can find here what is this yeah yeah you can change yeah anyway let's move on watercolor film damage yeah you could use film damage this this pretty much is yeah. increase focal tilt you see all these little grain here you know this, this make it seem like you can increase the grain you can see like oh this the film is damage yeah there's film grain but film grain is not really Film grain, I don't know if you noticed, but the uh, film grain is not free, but film damage is free, and the camera shape. There's two ways you can do it, you can use the camera shape, or you can go out there and um, move the video yourself, but a camera shape make it easier, so that way you can just shake your video, you know, right here, you notice, just shake the video, you can do it out there. And, and um, shake the video yourself by transforming and everything. But uh, instead of, you can just shake it here if you want. Yeah. When you hit the bass, you know, <clears throat> this definitely really good for shaking. It, it, it definitely make make the video come alive. Okay, so that's that. There's a video shake here that you can use, which is cool. Uh, whatever, lens distortion, nah, not so much, but, but just to, to give you an idea of what it is, lens distortion, then, then it's free, there you go, this, it's just some type of distortion, you know, this is not too crazy, but people do use it to do transition and stuff, but, uh, I hardly use that, and, I think that's about it, let me see what else there is, well, you can also do, uh, Mojo blur for transition. Okay. Uh, and also in one of Corella video, if you notice, I will put the video on the description below later. Uh, one of her videos, she have this effect on the video. Is pretty, pretty much she used edge detect. So what did that does? It create this. I don't know, like line wire around the edge. It's pretty cool. You can uh, detect the edge, make it, I don't know, interesting. And then change it and then come back. Yeah, edge detect. That's one of the effects you can use. No, that's pretty much it. So yeah, so I hope you like this video and uh, that's it for now. I hope this video helped you guys and yeah, alright, peace.